here is the tutorial for this big appa. Materials I use for him, I use three skeins of this type of yarn. I use a lot of different types of this because they were all sold out everywhere, so I did my best. I originally used Sweet Snuggles for this one. I couldn't find it, it's all sold out, so I used Chenille Home. This has 109 yards, so does this one, the Sweet Snuggles. So this is the Sweet Snuggles in a different color. And as you can see, it's 109 yards, just like this one. So as long as you have 109 yards of this, um, of this sky, you will need three skines of this. There's also a yarn that is the same price, unfortunately, both $10, but this one has less yards. So be mindful of that if you're gonna get this, the Royal Velvet. For the white, I wouldn't because 54 yards for ten dollars it's going you're gonna need a lot of this one and you're gonna end up spending more try to find one that has 109 yards that way you're not spending so much and i used three of the royal velvet with the 54 yards if you can find this color in anything that has 109 yards with the same texture and same size I definitely would recommend it this is size 7 yarn jumbo they're all size 7 yarn so as long as you get size 7 yarn with the same type of texture you'll be fine for this and then i use this one for the horns the chenille home for the arrow i don't have that color with me right now i couldn't find it at the store so i'm ordering it online but it is the bernat velvet you can get it in any tan color and then i got safety eyes these are 22 millimeters and then you will need some polyfill so we're going to create a slip knot so wrap the yarn around two fingers hold it grab the hook insert it in between the hole and then grab the yarn with the hook and then pull through and tighten it and we're going to chain two so yarn over and pull through that's your chain one yarn over and pull through that's your chain two now that with this yarn is a little bit difficult to see so again this is your chain one this is your chain two so we're gonna go in with a single crochet into the first chain that you made so you're gonna go straight into that first chain with the hook and then you're gonna grab that yarn pull it through you're gonna have two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through. That is your first single crochet and we're gonna put seven single crochets. So make sure you're counting. So this is your first one, two. So make sure you're going into the same hole each time. Pull through, grab the yarn, pull through, three. four, five, six, and seven. And then when you're done, I'm gonna pull this yarn up, this loop all the way up. You're gonna put the hook through the back side of the first chain you made. So it's gonna look like it's this one. Make sure you go into this one here. So grab the hook and insert it here through the back side. You're gonna bring the loop over the hook and then pull it through all the way and then tighten it. And this is going to give it an invisible seam so that way you can't see it from the front but it will be visible through the back now we're all done with row one so for row two we're going to increase for each and every single stitch that we have again with a single crochet we're going to go straight into this stitch that we're at and put two so go into here grab the yarn pull it through you'll have two loops yarn over 
pull through all the way. That is the first stitch. Go into the same stitch that you just came from. Go straight back into here. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You have two loops again, yarn over and pull through. So you have two single crochets into the same stitch. So you have two single crochets into the same stitch. So you're gonna make sure to do the same thing for each stitch around. So again, for this stitch next to it, put one single crochet and then another single crochet. So two single crochets for each stitch and make sure you're counting. So right now I have four in total. So again, we're going to lift this loop up all the way and we're going to go into the very first stitch. So we're going to pull through in the back and then we're going to grab the loop and put it over and pull it through and then tighten again and we're all done with the second row. For the third row, again, we're going to increase with the multiple of seven. So we're going to add seven to this row, but we're not going to increase for each stitch. So we're going to increase for one stitch and then the next stitch is a regular single crochet and then we're going to increase again. So it'll be a pattern of increase, single, increase, single throughout this entire row. So for the first stitch, I'm going to increase. So go into the stitch, grab the yarn and pull it through. You'll have two loops, yarn over, pull through, and then go into the same stitch to another single crochet. And that is two stitches, two single crochets into the same stitch. And then we're gonna go straight to the next one and do one regular single crochet and then we're going to go into the next stitch after that and then insert two for the increase and then again go back to the one single crochet and then again with the increase two single crochets into the same stitch and you're just going to repeat that so again, one, two. I have 21 stitches so make sure you have this pulled all the way out and then we're going to go into the very first stitch from the beginning of this row from the back side grab the yarn pull it through on top of the hook and then pull it through and tighten it and then we're going to start row four so typically, whenever I see videos of increasing with circles, they always put the increases on the exact same, like they put it on top of each other. Don't do that because then you will create a hexagon. You don't want a hexagon, you want a circle. So my biggest tip, the thing that I've learned to make sure that it remains a circle, is to put increases on top of single crochets. So since on this row right here, this is an increase. I'm gonna put a single immediately into here on top. So put a single and then we're going to put two singles in between each increase for this row to remain the increase of seven. So it's one single crochet, one single crochet, and then increase. So when I put the increase, it's going to be right before 
this increase, but it's not going to be on top of it. So it's not going to be in between these two. It's going to be right before it. So I'm going to put my increase right there. And then I'm going to do two more singles. So one single, go to the next stitch, one single, go to the next stitch and do increase. And then back to doing one single, next stitch, one single, next stitch, two singles for the increase. Make sure and double count that you have 28 stitches and then pull this loop up. Grab your hook and go through the back. Grab the yarn and wrap it around and then pull through and tighten it. For row five, we're gonna start off with an increase since we're not gonna have an increase right under it. So put two single crochets into the same stitch. And then for this row, we're going to have three single crochets in between each increase. So I'm going to put three stitches with one single crochet for each. So one single crochet in here. Next stitch, another single crochet, and then the next stitch, another single crochet. And then we're going to go back to the increase. So two single crochets into the same stitch. Three single crochets. So one single crochet, next stitch, two single crochet, and then next stitch, three single crochet, and then next stitch, increase. Again. One, two, three, increase. And just continue with the same pattern for the rest of the row. And then I'm back to the beginning. Then again, to connect the two sides together, just pull out this loop a little bit, go into the back side with your hook, the very first stitch, and then grab the loop, put it over the hook, and pull through. Tighten it. So for row six, we started with an increase on the previous row, so we're gonna do single crochet. So for row six, we're gonna put four single crochets in between each increase. So one single crochet, next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four. So we have our four consecutive single crochets and then we're gonna go into our increase. So increase. And then we're going to do our four consecutive single crochets. One. Next stitch, two, next stitch, three, next stitch, four. And then next stitch we are going to do our increase. I'm finishing it. Double check and count your row to make sure that the row 6 has 42 stitches. And then after you count it, just pull this loop up, go from the back into the first stitch that you made. And then grab the loop and pull it through and tighten it. So we started the previous row with the regular single crochet. So we're going to start this row with the increase. So do increase one, two, and then we're going to put five regular consecutive single crochets. So one, 
two, three, four, five. Then we're gonna do our increase. After this increase right here, we're gonna do five consecutive regular single crochets into the stitches. Three, four, and five. And then after the fifth one, we're going to do our increase. And then five consecutive regular single crochets. Afterwards, you are going to pull the loop up, go to the back side. Grab the yarn and pull it through and tighten it. Now we are just going to do regular single crochets for each stitch across the entire row for row 8 and throughout the other rows as well. So for all these next rows, they're going to have the same amount of stitches throughout the row as row 7. So row 7 has 49 stitches. And so row 8, row 9, row 10, etc. will have 49 stitches as well. So we're just going to do regular single crochets throughout this entire row for each stitch. Only put one single crochet. There will be no increase for this row or for the next upcoming rows. I'm not going to film the next couple of rows because it's literally the exact same steps. Just continue doing single crochets until the rows have 49 stitches total. So I just ran out of yarn of my first skein, and if I try to do one more stitch, it's not enough for another one. So I'm going to add the second skein of yarn. So to do that, grab the other yarn and make sure you still have your hook in the loop. So with the other yarn, you're going to put it on the hook. You're going to wrap it around the hook and then pull through the loop. And then tighten the loop and then pull more from this side. Tighten the loop all the way and then tighten the new addition of the yarn. Tighten that a little bit and then you're going to hold both of these ends while you're crocheting and then do your single crochet here. The reason why you are holding on to the two ends is so that way you can basically weave in the yarn while you're crocheting in between the stitches. So I did a total of 15 rows. So rows 1 through 7 were all increased. And then rows 8 to 15 were all just regular single crochet, no increase at all. So now that I'm done with all of that, I'm going to do what we've been doing this entire time. Pull this up and go into the very first stitch of the row. Pull the hook through and then grab the loop, put it over the hook and then go through the stitch with the loop, tighten it. Then we're going to grab your scissors, cut the yarn and then we're going to wrap the yarn around the hook, pull it through and tighten it. This will secure it and you're done with the base of the head and then for the rest of the head is going to be the white part which I'll show how to do next. So for the top of the head it's going to be the exact same steps except there's not going to be as many rows of no increases but it's going to be the same amount of rows of increases so I'm not going to explain in depth with this since we already went through all of the process before. So we're gonna start off with a slip knot. So wrap the yarn around two fingers, insert the hook and grab it and pull through. 
then we're gonna chain two so yarn over pull through one yarn over pull through two and then we're gonna do sing then we're gonna put seven single crochets into the very first chain that we made so one two three Three, four, five, six, and seven. Don't forget to pull out the loop and bring the hook back. And then bring the loop on top of the hook and pull through. And tighten it. And then we're going to do an increase for each stitch. So increase around the entire row for a total of 14 stitches. And pull up once you got your 14 stitches and then go into the back of the first stitch grab the yarn and pull it through and tighten it so for this third row remember we're gonna do increase single crochet increase so there's going to be one regular single crochet in between each increase so we're gonna start with an increase in the same stitch and then go to the next stitch do one regular single crochet and then next stitch with an increase and single crochet increase and just continue doing that for the rest of the row and after you get your 21 stitches pull up go back into this stitch And then go yarn over, pull through, and then tighten it. And then since the one in the bottom is an increase, we're gonna do a single crochet into here. So one single crochet, and then do another single crochet in the next stitch, and then increase. Remember for this row, row four, it's going to be two regular single crochets in between increases. So after this increase, two regular single crochets, and then increase, two regular, and then increase, and just continue till you get to the end. After you have your 28 stitches for row four, just pull up and connect the front. We are going to do the increase stitch. And then three consecutive regular crochets, single crochets. One, two, three, and then increase. So this row, row five, will have three regular single crochets in between each increase so just repeat that for the rest of the row after you get your 35 stitches for row 5 just pull up and connect the two sides together and then we're going to start this row with single crochet regular single crochet so we're gonna do four for this row one two three four and then increase just continue 
repeating four regular stitches of single crochet, increase, four single crochet, increase throughout the rest of the row. After you get your 42, connect the row together. And then row seven is the last row of increases. So again, since we started the last row with the regular single crochet, we're going to start this row with the increase. So do your increase and then five regular single crochets. One, two, three, four, five. And just keep repeating the same steps of the five single crochets and increase. You have your 49 stitches, just connect the row together. And then now we're just going to do regular rows with no increase at all. So just do regular single crochets for row 8 and for the rest of the rows. Making sure that they all equate to 49 stitches. So I did rows 8 through 12 with no increases, so this is row 12. And now that I'm done with row 12, I am going to create Appa's hair. So I'm going to do a single crochet for the first one. And then for the next stitch, I'm going to put four double crochets. So for double crochet, yarn over your hook and go into the stitch. Grab the yarn and pull it through. You're going to have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, go into the first two loops only. You have two loops now. Yarn over, go into the rest of the two loops. And that is a double crochet. So we are putting four double crochets into this stitch. So do another double crochet, yarn over, go into the same stitch, pull through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through, you have two loops, yarn over, go into the last two loops. Then again, yarn over, go into the same stitch, and then yarn over, go into the first two loops, yarn over, the remaining two loops, yarn over, Go into the stitch, pull through, yarn over, go to the first two, yarn over, pull through. And so for this stitch, you have four double crochets, and then into the next stitch, you're gonna do a single crochet. So this is gonna create a scallop, gonna represent his hair. So after the single crochet, we're gonna go back. And do four double crochets so yarn over go into the stitch bring it through you have three loops yarn over go to the first two loops yarn over remaining two loops and then yarn over go into the stitch pull it through you have three loops yarn over pull through yarn over pull through and then do two more double crochets into this same stitch have your four double crochets go ahead and do a single crochet into the next stitch and then you have your second scallop do another single crochet right after that so in between the scallops, I like to randomly go with ones and twos just to give it more of a different look, like not, not so uniformed because when you see the Abba cartoon, his hair is not the same all around, it is different. So I, I am, I'm just going to change it up just by doing the difference of how many single crochets to put in between each scallop. 
by either one or two it doesn't really matter just however much you want to put you can so after i put the two single crochets i'm going to go back to the scallop with four double crochets And after I do the scallop, I'm just going to do one single crochet and then back to the scallop. And then once the scallop is done, I'm going to put two single crochets right after that. And just continue throughout the rest of the row. For my last stitch, I'm just going to do a single crochet in between the two scallops that I have and then pull this out a little bit and I'm going to take a lot of yarn and cut it so that way this is the yarn that I'm going to use to attach this side to the other side of the head. So before I cut it, I like to make sure that the yarn that I'm taking out will wrap around at least two times. A little bit more than two though. Just so I'll make sure I have enough yarn to sew everything. And now I'm going to cut it. Then I'm going to go back to where my loop is. Connect the single crochet to here. And then pull through and then pull through that single crochet and pull all the way through and once you finish pulling it just tighten it and then put the yarn inside the steps for the body are also very similar to the head so we're gonna do the slip knot so wrap around two fingers put the hook through and pull it through chain two so yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and then we're going to do the seven single crochets into the very first stitch. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Then pull the loop up. Go into the very first stitch, grab the yarn and pull through. Then we're going to increase into every single stitch for a total of 14 stitches. So remember, put two single crochets into the same stitch. One, two, go into the next stitch, three, four. Next stitch, five, six, seven, eight. So after you get your 14 stitches, pull up, go into the very first stitch that you made from the back side, grab the loop, put over the hook and pull through. Tighten it and then we're gonna do increase single crochet, increase single crochet. I'm going to increase for the first stitch, do a single crochet and then increase again, single crochet, increase. single crochet and just keep repeating the same steps. Single crochet and just keep repeating the same steps. Once you get your 21 stitches, pull up, go into the back stitch. Pull through and then pull through. Here for row four, we're gonna do the two single crochets in between each increase 
So since we started the previous row with an increase, we're going to do a single crochet for this row. Single crochet, single crochet, increase. Two single crochets. increase to single crochet and just continue and after you get your 28 stitches just pull this up and go into the back side pull down. and then since the previous row started with single crochet now we're going to start with the increase so do your increase And then your single crochets so for this row we're gonna do three single crochets one two and three and then increase so just continue throughout the rest of the row after 35 stitches pull up and then you're going to connect the two sides of the row and then for row six this is the last row that we are going to do the increase so we're going to do single crochet four single crochets and then do the increase increase four single crochets and just continue with the same steps for the rest of the row once you get your 42 stitches pull up the loop and go to the back of the first stitch So for row 7, we're just going to do regular single crochets all throughout until we get the number of 42 stitches. And then when you're done with this row, just pull up on the loop, go to the back of the very first stitch of this row, and then connect both sides. Pull through, and then tighten it. And just repeat the same steps for the rest of the rows with the single crochets into each stitch making sure that you have 42 stitches in each row so I just finished row 23 so for row 24 I'm going to decrease this time and I'm going to decrease a total of seven times just like we've been increasing a total of seven times as you remember with the last row of increases on row six we did four single crochets in between each increase we're gonna do the same thing here we're gonna do four single crochets in between each decrease so a decrease here is going to look like this so you're gonna put your hook in here grab the yarn pull it through you'll have two loops Go into the very next stitch and then grab the yarn, pull through. You'll have three loops, yarn over and pull through. And that is how the decrease is going to look. And then we're going to do four single crochets. One, two, three, and four. And decrease. So we're going to go into the stitch, bring the yarn through. We'll have two loops go into the next stitch immediately grab the yarn and pull it through we're gonna have three loops on our hook yarn over and pull through that is our decrease and then four regular single crochets one two three four and then our decrease so go into the stitch grab the yarn pull it through Go into the next stitch, grab the yarn, pull it through, and then go through all three loops. And then four single crochets. And then our decrease, so go into the stitch, pull it through, 
go into the next stitch, pull it through, you're gonna have three loops, yarn over, pull through all three, and then four single crochets. One, two, three, four, and then decrease, go into the stitch, go straight into the next stitch, decrease, and then four, one, two, three, and four, decrease, so go into the stitch, bring it through, next stitch, bring it through, and then pull through all the way, four single crochets, two, three, four. If you started with a decrease, you should finish with a regular single crochet. So count, make sure that you have 35 stitches and the decreases will look like that. So make sure to count them as one stitch to get your 35 and then connect just like how we've been connecting all this time. And then yarn over, pull through all the way and tighten it. And I don't really have that much yarn left for this one, so I'm not going to cut it. I'm just going to use this to attach the body to the head. And then I'm just going to put this in here for now. So far we have the base of the body, the top head, and then the bottom of the head. So we have all the big parts done.